Hello, my name is Xiaohui Zhou. I'm a principal engineer at Sleepdream. In today's short presentation, we're going to look at BACnet, Longworks, and Niagara framework. This is today's presentation outline. We're going to first look at the UFC five-level control system architecture, then compare BACnet versus Longworks. Then I'm going to explain the concept of open, closed, and proprietary system, followed by Niagara framework, and we're going to touch on cybersecurity. Let's review the five-level control system architecture from unified facility criteria first. Look at this architecture. You will see there are four main options. Longworks, BACnet, Longworks with Niagara, and BACnet with Niagara. What are they? How they compare? At level two, field control system, or IP network level. You see these terms, long IP, BACnet IP, or FOX. And in level one, field control system, non-IP network, you may see these terms, TPFT-10 or MSTP. What is BACnet and what is Longworks? BACnet is the acronym for Building Automation System and Control Networks. It is developed by ASHRAE since 1987. This is a public, open, international standard supported by ASHRAE Standing Standard Project Committee SSPC 135. There's no license fee required for BACnet. Longworks is a networking platform. Long is the acronym for Local Operating Network. Longworks is developed by Ashlong in 1988. It is a private but open international standard. Longworks is supported by Longmark International, an independent consortium of manufacturers. Longworks does require license fees. The communication protocol used in Longworks is called LongTalk. LongTalk is built in these transceiver chips or neuron chips, and the manufacturers of these chips will pay license fee and royalties to Ashlong. Now let's look at what is an open, closed, or proprietary system. A open system is a system that codes and specifications are disclosed to the public. An open system encourages interoperability and competition. Both Longworks and BACnet are open systems. A closed system is a system that's patented, copyrighted, and codes and specifications are not disclosed to the public. Many of the BS manufacturers' old systems before Longworks and BACnet are popular are all closed systems. And a proprietary system is a system that's owned by a specific company. It could be open or could be closed. Longworks is both open system, but also a proprietary system. In DoD facilities, open system is strongly preferred or even required by UFC. BACnet. Key concepts in BACnet are BACnet objects and BACnet services. In BACnet, there are 54 standard object types like analog inputs, analog outputs, control loop object, and schedule object, etc. A BACnet device, such as a sensor or a controller, contains these BACnet objects. Each BACnet object contains the properties needed to define capabilities, operation, and related data. An example of a BACnet analog input object is shown in here. BACnet services are action requests to these BACnet objects, such as file or object access remote device management, and alarms and events, etc. 
there are a total of 38 BACnet services. A BACnet controller can ask a BACnet analog input object for the present value of this BACnet analog input objects, and the object can respond with a value of 25. Key concepts in Longworks are Longmark objects and standard network variable types, or SNVIDs. Longmark objects are a collection of network variables, configuration properties, and associated behavior. Longmark objects define standard formats and semantics for how information is exchanged between long devices on a Longworks platform. The standard network variable types, or SNVs, are input-output network variables used in Longworks. And they are directional, meaning they are either network variable inputs or network variable outputs. Long devices communicate with each other using SNVs. An example of an absolute humidity network variable input SNVs is shown in here. Comparing BACnet and Longworks at different levels. For a building control network level or IP network, they're pretty much the same in terms of cabling and the speed. BACnet use BACnet IP, Long use Long IP, but they're all run on CAT5, CAT6 Ethernet cables. For a field control network, BACnet MSTP use 24 gauge twisted pair and long use 16 gauge twisted pair. The topology are different. Daisy chain is used in BACnet MSTP and free topology is used in long. When you use BACnet or Longworks in a standalone building control system, that's not a problem. But when you try to integrate the control system with a IT network, BACnet and long, neither is considered secure by IT professionals. You always need a FPOC or field point of connection device, which is a switch or firewall to separate the two networks. BACnet Secure Connect or BACnet SC is an addendum to the BACnet protocol recently released by the ASHRAE BACnet committee. It is a secure protocol that uses the latest IT security standard and specifically designed to meet the requirements of a secure IP infrastructure. However, it's not a replacement of firewall security procedures and uses restrictions. And both BACnet and Longworks are compatible with Niagara Framework. Niagara Framework is an open framework it's not a protocol. It's a universal software infrastructure that allows the web-enabled applications to be built using multiple protocols. So both BACnet and Long are compatible with Niagara Framework. How Niagara Framework enables the universal software infrastructure? The concept is a common object model. We know BACnet has BACnet objects, long has a long mark objects. All these objects are converted to common objects in the Niagara framework. So that software can be written based on these common objects and have a universal look and feel. Niagara framework is proprietary and license based. It is owned by Tritium an independent business entity of Honeywell. FOX is a proprietary TCP IP protocol used for communication among stations. Stations are just nodes on a computer network. Each operator workstation or controller represent a station in the Niagara framework. Let's review this architecture diagram again. For the long works option, everything is long. You have this long devices, you use TPFT10 or long IP protocols at different levels. For the backnet option, everything is backnet. You have these all backnet devices. 
and BACnet MSTP protocols, BACnet IP protocols. You also have the LAN works with Niagara option, which makes LAN devices with Niagara. And BACnet with Niagara option, you mix BACnet devices, MSTP protocols, and BACnet IP protocols with Fox in this option. The LAN works with Niagara and BACnet with Niagara option enables the universal software interface. So as an energy manager, you may not want to deal with different building control system software interface like Honeywell or Siemens or Train. You would rather to look at the same uh, software interface. Here are some UFC references if you want to learn more about BACnet, LongWorks, and Niagara framework and cybersecurity requirements. In terms of cybersecurity, it is a big deal in DoD facilities. DoD has adopted the NIST Risk Management Framework, or RMF, for all information technology and operational technology networks. Building control system network is part of a operational technology networks. Here are some links, RMF 101 for managers, an army guide to navigating the cybersecurity process for facility-related control systems, and the ESTCP have a web page on these resources. Thank you for watching.